M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So I got the IC7100 coming soon. HF, VHF, UHF, all mode transceiver. So what is the appeal of this particular one? It also has D-Star. Well, the number one appeal for me is the fact that the head unit come, it separates from the base unit. There's only one cable and it includes a speaker in the head unit and microphone connector. So that's the number one thing I like. And then it's an all mode transceiver and it has full 100 watts. So, you know, I'll just put the link in the description so you can have a look at the brochure yourself. And I'll be comparing this, believe it or not, to the ICOM 705 because it pretty much does nearly everything that the 705 does, but it's full power. Yeah, you don't have Bluetooth, you don't have Wi Fi or terminal mode, but. You know these radios have now been uh, returned to full production uh, so the you know that you can basically still buy them brand new and just scroll down through this is, i mean this radio has been out was it nine years um it's touch screen has filters very good on hf very good reviews if you look at the reviews for this radio they are just excellent you know five star reviews throughout so touchscreen, resistance touchscreen, which works fine. Controlled mounted speaker, you can see it there at the top. Uh, connector jacks for your mic, uh, speaker mic, electric Kia and speaker. And you can put it in the car, it's a very mobile unit. There's your digital features, controlled by DSP. Easy vehicle mount and it's ready out of the box for things like FTA you can use the RSBA1 software with it this is a uh, diagram here of your DSP it's got your D-Star module uses DR mode which we're very familiar with I've, uh, I'll be pro doing videos showing how to set that up as well there is a DTMF microphone I'm not sure if mine has got that I think it's the HM151 but the standard mic is this one here IC700 and then lots of accessories which will probably fit on uh, many of your other radios as well. And they're all listed there. And I have got the RSBA1 remote control software. So we'll give that a go. On the back, we've got data jacks uh, one and two. So you can use things like a TNC on it. And uh, you've got a USB connector as well for programming and other functions. Twin antenna connections for VHF, UHF and HF six meters. There's your ground tuner usual tuner connector now it hasn't got a built-in tuner you need an external one but you can buy the budget tuners now i've got the atu 100 upstairs which cost me about 45 pound and i'll be testing that on it as well so yeah so looking forward to playing with this thought i'd show you the brochure put a link in uh to the brochure and uh, let me know if you've got one what you think of it and uh, if you'd sell it would you rather get a ICOM 7300 but the problem with that is it's HF only you might want all modes and look everything's here and it even has a voice announcement um, as well so 73 catch you on air all the best bye for now please remember to subscribe